that they... You see, a lot of times when you cry, the narcissist will get even, like, more mad, more upset. We've heard that narcissists have a lack of empathy, but when we're trying to relate it to our particular relationship, it's often hard to pinpoint how they lacked empathy. Go follow No Narc Sense. She comments on my videos. I watch all of hers and she has done phenomenal work. In this video, she compiles a list of experts talking about what happens when you cry when you're with a narcissistic person. I don't know why this was such a disconnect for me because when I see one of my loved ones crying, especially if it's because of something that I've done to them, I am immediately horrified. I pause and I attend to them. I try to help them to feel better. I try to clear up the misunderstandings in the most sympathetic and gentle way possible so that we can get them out of the state that they're in of devastation and we can come to um, more understanding. That is the normal response to a loved one or especially a partner that we have made cry. But think about how your narcissist responded when you cried. My narcissist got really, really angry. He in fact made the pain worse because of his rage. I saw him do it with his child. It was as if my tears were making him more angry because I was in control in that situation or because my emotions were just an inconvenience to him. He was very angry that I was crying and employed Darvo and all of the other techniques to gaslight my experience and make me think that my tears were not worthy. That I had no reason to be feeling pain or crying. He would often leave me in these situations. He would storm out and stonewall me and employ the silent treatment, which is so cruel when you really think about it. Think about what I, what I said earlier about what you would do if your loved one was crying and you knew that you were the cause of that hurt. You would go to them. You would try to soothe them. That's what a normal person does. But a covert narcissist will get angry, blame it on you, make you feel like you're weak or deficient for crying, and then often leave you alone in your pain. I don't know what else can be described as a lack of empathy, but all of those behaviors. I never actually saw him have any empathy towards not only me crying, but anybody crying.